So this guy is the answer to numerous NHL and minor pro trivia questions. Uh, first of all, who may, may have been the biggest scorer in the IHL of the 1960s? Who is the oldest, probably, rookie in Toronto Maple Leaf history? And uh, who is the guy that uh, basically changed the way we looked at the Trotche family? No, it's not Brian Trotche. It's to, uh, it could be his cousin because the Trotches are all over uh, Quebec and Ontario and out west. We're going to talk today about the curious case and the legend of Guy Trotche. Now, Guy Trotche, born April 1st, 1941 in Gatineau, Quebec. Played 115 games in the NHL and another 174 in the WHA, but he came to major prominence as probably being the best minor pro scorer of his generation, similar to uh, <coughs> numbers Alain Carroll was putting up. Now, Trotche played junior and senior hockey in the Hall, Ottawa area before eventually signing with the Knoxville Knights of the Eastern Hockey uh, League. Now, uh, eventually found his way to Philadelphia Greensboro and the Port Euro Flags of the EHL and the IHL in the 60, uh, the 64 season. And that combined year, he had 33 goals and 64 assists. Now, what was kind of ironic, ladies and gentlemen, that he was traded twice in that season. Now, uh, during the offseason, he was traded to the IHL's Dayton Gems, where, where he became a legend, with whom he played for the next three seasons. Now, with Dayton, he probably put in some of the best numbers in the history of the franchise. 46 goals in 68 games in 65. 132 points in 68 goals in 66 in 66 contests. And he broke the 70-goal mark in 67 uh, and 135 points in 67 games. Now, he found himself back in the AHL with the Buffalo Bisons in 68, uh, getting 35 points in 41 games. Now, he was called up to the New York Rangers, 69 season, but he was most of the year with Buffalo, 45 goals and 82 points in 69. And Buffalo, 1970, hit 55 goals, including 88 points in 71 games. Now, when uh, Trotje signed with the Bisons, he had an open contract to be signed by anybody. And when the Rangers uh, took over his AHL contract, they didn't protect him in the interleague draft, and he eventually made the NHL with the Maple Leafs. Now, his first year, again, a 30-year-old rookie, 19 goals in 61 games and uh, only five assists. 72, he had 21 points in 52 games. Now, with the WHA coming in, a lot of people felt he might be... Uh, uh, jumping to the new association, and that's what happened. Now, in 72, the Dayton Arrows of the WHA claimed Trotje in the league's first general player draft. Later that year, his rights were uh, sent to Ottawa. He scored 26 goals with a national in 73, and 27 more in 74 after the team moved to Toronto. In November of 74, the Toros traded him to the Michigan Stags. He finished out the season with Dayton again of the IHL, and after spending the 76 season as a player coach of the Buffalo Norsemen of the North American Hockey League, he retired. He also coached the Hall Olympics for part of the 78 season. In 2009, Trotchy was hired by the Gems of the AHL as director of hockey operations. Unfortunately, five years later, the cancer he had battled for a short while came back and unfortunately he passed away in a hospice. Now, full WHA totals. 137 points in 174 regular season games, 13 points in 17 playoff games, and uh, NHL 28 goals in 115 uh, games uh, and 45 uh, assists, uh, 45 points. So uh, interesting career, but when you score literally over 300 goals in minor pro, you got to be pretty good. And uh, one actually uh, writer, very well known writer, Stan Feichler, said, you know, with Brian Trotje coming in is like Guy left and Trotje came in. But before there was a Brian Trotje, we knew how to pronounce his name and to pronounce goal scoring in the great and legendary Guy Trotje. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Give me a like, comment, or subscribe. If you like what we're doing here, please tell your friends. We've just passed 130,000 uh, page hits and we appreciate the business, even though we're not getting paid for it. Have a good day. Bye.